This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Aloha and welcome to Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. We're a show that broadcasts every Thursday from 2 to 2.30 from the downtown studios of Think Tech Hawaii in beautiful Honolulu, Hawaii. Today we got a little bit of fog going on so people's sinuses are acting up, but generally it's a great place to be. Uh, we've got uh, a very interesting guest today, actually two guests, uh, and we're going to be talking uh, a little bit about a transformation that's taken place. But before we get into that, what I'd like to just mention uh, is that today I was just appointed uh, a member of the Hawaii Small Business Regulatory Review Board by Governor Ige. Uh, which is a, actually a great honor, at least for me, and uh, something that's going to really help because I'm already at the federal level with the Small Business Regulatory Review Board, uh, and now I get to also include the state. So working together, I can work to make sure that the rules and regulations at both state and federal level are conducive to helping small businesses thrive and get stronger, be more profitable, and they're consistent. Sometimes they're, they're disconnects and they don't always work in tandem. So hopefully now with this new role, uh, we'll be able to be more effective in, in helping the small business community. Now with that said, we've got, a, the guest today is actually the uh, East Oahu Chamber of Commerce, formerly known as Hawaii Kai Chamber. Uh, and they have increased their geographical uh, footstep. Their footprint has gotten bigger. They include a lot more businesses than ever before. And it's an exciting time for the East Oahu Chamber. We've got the President, Gindy French, uh, here to talk. And we also have their ambassador, uh, which is Janaea Self, uh, and she's been involved for a long time uh, with East Oahu. But thank you both for joining me today. Oh, thank thank you, you for having us. So now these are exciting times. You've got uh, a whole new geography that you're going to be dealing with. I mean, this is a whole. This is a lot bigger than just the Hawaii Kai. This is the entire East Oahu. It is. Although the interesting thing is that as the Hawaii Kai Chamber of Commerce, our geographical footprint was larger than Hawaii Kai but people didn't realize it. So we would go out and visit our businesses and mm -hmm. ask them for their input. How can we help you? Would you like to join, make a difference? They say, well, we're not Hawaii Kai, but, but. <laughs> so now, yes, instead of um, stopping, we want to include Monolua Bay. So basically going to Kapahulu. Right, all the way to Kapahulu. Uh, to Kapahulu. But that also includes uh, Kaimoki too, it does. doesn't it? Yeah. A large number of businesses there, a large number of small businesses there. Um, mm -hmm family-owned businesses there. Right, and there's some large, I mean, Chaminade is inside there, yes. that area too. Yes, so that might got great be schools in there. an interesting opportunity uh, to get them on board and get them involved. There, there could be Correct. some uh, interesting business school case studies done, opportunities mm -hmm. uh, for them to, to kind of get involved and, and get definitely, connected. Definitely, definitely. So how are you going to begin the process of getting the word out and letting everybody know? What's, what's, what's the marketing game on this? Okay, <laughs> I guess that's directed towards me. Well, um, it's interesting, you know, like she said, our geographical area always covered a little bit more than Hawaii Kai. Mm -hmm. um, but now that people can see that just within the name, what we'd like to do is have a series of events, obviously. Now that we have members on board or who are of the media, a broad spectrum between. That helps. Uh, uh, Pacific Business News, PBN mm -hmm. has been a great su supporter. Yes. Element Media, excuse me, Element Media is mm -hmm. also a supporter of ours. Right. Um, That's the Pacific Edge magazine. Correct, yeah. Pacific Edge, Green uh, Green Magazine as well. Mm -hmm. um, so they are definitely supportive and have been involved. We also have a, a couple of the news stations looking at us as well uh, to part, possibly partner and, really? and create some um, some buzz. Some yeah. buzz. Yeah. So we do want to have kind of a uh, small little gatherings all around East Oahu, not just in geographical Hawaii Kai, but I think if you spread the love around and people start coming to the different events and they mm -hmm. start seeing with their own eyes the uh, benefits and the new networking opportunities that are involved, 
This is a small island. You It'll tell catch 10 on. people, 10 sure. people will tell 10 people. Well, in, in a, a sense, this is almost a, like a startup type operation where you got to educate the people that it's not just Hawaii Kai. It Correct. never really was, you know, mm -hmm. but now it's it's by definition and by name a lot bigger than that. Yes. Uh, and it, that's that's going to be the, the fun part, the, the branding or rebranding, if Correct. you will. Absolutely. Correct. Yes, we have uh, the history of Hawaii Kai and the years of community service and serving mm -hmm. our businesses. Um, and you've done a lot of good things out there over the years. I mean, it's got a, a there's a lot so. of aloha for the Hawaii Kai Chamber, and it's just a matter of yes. expanding that. Absolutely. We've been involved, gosh, we, we both went in together in what, 2008, yeah. nine? nine? I'm not we're, sure, yes, a long we time were, ago. <laughs> a long time ago, we were recruited at the same time. Mm -hmm. So we have really had a chance to really understand each other's working ability. Um, we, we definitely trust each other, and we get together on these things and try to figure out the best strategy um, to not only grow the name, but also grow the board. And I think that what you said is very poignant. It's, it's a startup position, and this is a very fresh, ground-level time to get involved, mm -hmm. where we don't have every policy put into place. Mm -hmm. And that's actually okay, because now we can actually talk about what's beneficial on both sides, and just instead of just creating a mandate for people to follow, right. now it's how can we create a win-win for the businesses right. to be involved, both on a board or committee level, to a uh, name expansion, top of mind awareness, branding, and really it's about the community behind the business. Mm -hmm. So what I mean by that, so say for example, Island Brew Coffee House. Uh, I think everybody knows that name. They've done a fantastic job. They've really expanded. Mm -hmm. uh, they have two new locations opening. Um, they've been great supporters of ours members as well, mm -hmm. we can go into their facility, host an event, mm -hmm. and also sit down and actually talk about how to better get the word out, what we're doing right and what we're not necessarily doing right. How can we improve upon that? And, and they're just in a, a one example of the type of community works that they're involved in. They always have fundamentals, uh, mm -hmm. fundraising going on, fundamental key issues to talk about at their actual location. And that's what makes, I think, a neighborhood type of chamber unique and different. You know, you look at the Hawaii Chamber of Commerce, which I've been very active with over the years, but it's predominantly a business-focused type of activity. Mm -hmm. yep. When you start getting into the neighborhoods a little bit, you've got that element. It's still a business, you know, type of chamber, but mm -hmm. you also have a community element to and it. that's very important to us, very important to us. So things like Monolua Bay, um, environmental concerns, working with the Rotary on small things, Ducky Dash, Kaiser High School, raising funds, doing scholarships. It, it becomes something where, as she said, our businesses back our community. Uh, but without our community, we wouldn't need businesses at all. Right. So it's something where, you know, we'd like to highlight that. Exactly. And you get to extrapolate that out to all the communities that's going to mm -hmm. fall into that East Oahu uh, location. Yeah, and so there's a, a lot of different activities that are going to be going on that uh, I just see a, a tremendous amount of opportunity there to really have those community events to support all the different schools that are in mm -hmm. East Oahu, mm -hmm. get them engaged, get the high schools, get Chaminade. I mean, there's a lot of opportunity, I think. And, and, and there's, what, two of you? <laughs> we, do have, we do have a board. We do have a board, but definitely we need people to come in and really... We need high-level ideas, and we also need you to roll up your sleeves. And not and, be afraid to get yeah. your hands dirty. But it also, like you said, it's a great time to come in and put your print on, on the chamber. You get you your know, fingerprints and, all over it, yeah. <laughs> you know, um, it's bigger than all of us. You know, one of us put together, all of us come together and we make the world a better place, right? Exactly. Now, how are you going to go out and find these people? I mean, there may be a lot of people out there that may be looking for something to do, and how are you going to reach them and find them? That's a good question, because there is only two of us. We're going to start small and definitely go in and visit. I think it's important to know that we do actually go out and actually canvas. touch base with our members. We canvas. We walk in, talk to you. Have, let's possibly have coffee or lunch. Now, mm -hmm. we don't have enough time in the day to touch on every single business. There's got to be, what, you know, eight to 10,000 businesses in East Oahu. So I think having small, intimate community discussions, mm -hmm. either early morning or maybe uh, Palhana after people get off work, to sit and discuss um, certain 
aspects of how to really grow, because we can talk about grow, but in what way? How do we grow? Who? Who? Where? Well, and there's certainly going to be a lot of, I would think, venues to do that. I mean, think of all the restaurants that are in Kaimuki yes. or Aina Haina or in New Valley and Hawaii Kai. You can, you can do a little coffee hour or something in mm -hmm. all these different locations and get a lot of feedback and maybe find some very interested volunteers that would want to get engaged and, and yes. help support. And that's been historically the focus of our coffee talks, eight, ten weeks, Friday mornings, Sometimes there are three people, sometimes there are 20 people, but really to come in and it's a time where we can really get together and discuss things. You can talk, you can network in a group. We've had luncheons of 120 with Paul Brubaker, but there's something different. There's a great dynamic where you can really have ideas, hash out mm -hmm. events or... Yes, yes, I've always said intimate. You know, like you mentioned, um, even when you spoke last year, we have quite a few people at our Outback uh, luncheons, which are more educational seminars. Mm -hmm. But I think you touched on a great point. It's the small, intimate groups of getting to know you versus, you know, 100 business cards in your hand going, my name is, my name is. Mm -hmm. And I think when we have it more of a grassroots that way and people understand what we're really in it for, then it becomes an interesting, hmm, well then how can I get involved? Right. And that's what we're looking to do uh, starting now and we'll be continuing this through 2018. That's correct. Um, I think starting with, there's a special insert in the Honolulu Business Magazine coming out in November. All right. Uh, where they focused on East Oahu. Um, so the Kailua Chamber and myself, we sat down with the magazine and talked about not only advertising capabilities and the discount to our constituents, but also what are the interesting stories? You know the community better, you know the businesses better, how can we highlight where you are? And that's another way for us, as you said, to get the word out. Mm -hmm. You know, we're here, there's an expansion, a name change, this is the time to get involved. This is the time to tell us what you'd like to see, even if you can't get involved. Mm -hmm. There are probably people out there right now that might even be watching the show. And once we broadcast this on YouTube and get it on the website mm -hmm. and others, there may be people listening and saying, you know, I, I want to get engaged. I want to get involved. Um, how do they get in touch with you? Who, who would they reach out to and, and make themselves be known? Uh, definitely, I'm the forerunner there. You can always reach out to Jenea or any of our other board members. We try to go out, as she said, in Canvas. Brian Zagami, our secretary, and I went out two weeks ago walking through Kaimuki and just meeting people, um, getting to know Good. that area. Um, so you can definitely call me. Our number's on the website, the, not only the chamber number, but my cell phone number is on there. We have email. We have our website. Oh, it's definitely a, a great lady. place to go. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah, my phone doesn't ring after 9 o'clock or before 5, but, <laughs> but other than that, um, we check our voicemails. We're pretty accessible. Yeah. At the same time, we are, you know, busy and have our lives. This is a volunteer board. Um, but is there we've an email on there too that they can use yes. if they wanted yes. to write? Yes, email, and, and yeah, okay. that is, uh, I'm sure you'll have that flash up on the screen, but we have a new email address you want to maybe state that. East Oahu Chamber of Commerce at gmail.com. Gmail.com, so East Oahu Chamber of Commerce, all spelled out. All spelled out. And <laughs> at gmail.com. At gmail.com. Okay. Um, the other thing you can do is you can Google um, East Oahu Chamber of Commerce or still Hawaii Kai Chamber of Commerce, and we come up first thing. All right, very good. Let me, uh, we got to go on a quick break right here. Got it. Um, we're going to be gone for about 60 seconds, and when we get back, we're going to talk a little bit more about what the East Oahu Chamber of Commerce does in the community, using Hawaii Kai as an example, and, and show the, some of the events that they're hopefully going to be offering uh, going forward. So we'll be right back. This is Think Tech Hawaii, raising public awareness. Hi, I'm Pete McGuinness-Mark, and every Monday at 1 o'clock, I present Think Tech Hawaii's Research in Manoa, where we bring together researchers from across the campus to describe a whole series of scientifically interesting topics of interest both to Hawaii and around the world. So hopefully you can join me 1 o'clock Monday afternoon for Think Tech Hawaii's Research in Manoa. I just walked by and I said, what's happening, guys? They told me they were making music.
so any chance to play at all, you know, that's my life. I love music. Yeah, I saw it. Welcome back. This is Reg Baker, Business in Hawaii at Think Tech Hawaii, uh, broadcasting from downtown Honolulu. We have the East Oahu Chamber of Commerce with us today, and we're chatting about how they have really expanded their footprint from, from Hawaii Kai, and, and it was actually a little bit bigger than Hawaii Kai, but now it's all of East Oahu, which includes the Kahala and Kaimuki area. Um, and just out of curiosity, does this also slip over into Waimanalo? Mm. My Manalo has always been shared. I want to be very careful and not step on any toes. Uh, we've always gone to the golf course. If you live in Waimanalo, you can send your kids to Kaiser. Um, so we're, we're not okay. exclusive. We've had board members who live in the North Shore and have no businesses in Hawaii Kai or East Oahu. Um, so we're not going to turn you away. But why Manalo kind of Kailua little, kind of? It's more yeah. Kailua has taken them. that one mm. exactly. Absolutely. I think I, what, what I usually state verbally is a Sea Life Park. From, sea Life Park. Yes, from Kaimuki to Sea Life Park is kind of our last following. I got you. They, okay. They so Kailua right. can't touch Ka Sea Life Park. <laughs> That's our jurisdiction. All right. That yeah, is now official, everybody. We've <laughs> never drawn lines. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, but that'd be a great place, a nice venue for an event of some sort. I'd love to do something at Sea Life Park with um, a couple of musicians, entertainers, get a good draw, and um, also just kind of touch on some of the leaders. You know, it's 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 we've had a lot to talk about on the east side of Oahu over the last couple of years. Uh, dare I say, Noah? Uh, <laughs> just a lot of community um, concerns mm -hmm. with regards to the water level rising, property tax issues, mm -hmm. homelessness encampment, yeah. safety, break-ins, burglaries, high school, making sure that we have enough funds for our programs. There's quite a few things that the east side of Oahu needs to really take a look at. And I want to make sure personally that we don't get lost in the shuffle as other areas of Oahu continue to expand and grow, such as the Kapolei mm -hmm, side of the island. Mm -hmm. And so I think it's very important to understand why the chamber is even necessary. It's like, well, why have an East Oahu chamber? We have the main Honolulu chamber. Why is it even well, necessary? Well, but it's a very good point because uh, Kapolei and that part, that central location of Oahu, has been getting a lot of press recently, and they've they been have, opening they up things, you know, shopping centers and yeah. all this kind. Of. Well, but we can't forget that there is a lot of opportunity, a lot of businesses over here. Maybe yes. we should have something like the Taste of East Oahu, oh, you know, that and would have be one fantastic. of those little restaurant series mm -hmm. that you can go to and have different things Tasting, going on. Yes, or, tastings, and that would be yeah. fine. Yeah, bring, bring Tamara's involved. I'd love to talk to Tamara's now that we're in that expanded area. Mm -hmm. um, there's just a lot of opportunities, and but really, it's really boots on the ground, and it starts with our small board, and we need to expand. Mm -hmm. Well, and let's, as I mentioned before the break, Hawaii Kai Chamber has been around for a long time. They've done a lot of community things, mm -hmm. and I think that concept is something that we're going to kind of make available and, and try to encourage throughout the entire east of Oahu. And there's different neighborhoods there and, and sometimes Definitely. different issues that have got to be addressed. And you're going to be working with those communities that try to offer these types of events uh, for that community. For example, Mauna Loa Bay used to have fireworks. And I know that the Hawaii Kai Chamber has been involved in, in trying to make that happen again. But there can be other things over in, in Kahala Absolutely. and Kaimuki and, and different areas that you're going to want community involvement, hear what the issues are, and yes. work with them to, to support what they're trying to do. Absolutely. Creating a unit. And um, on top of that, when we're tackling these issues, obviously we can speak till we're blue in the face. But getting in there, like she said, rolling up your sleeves and getting it done mm -hmm. has always been the toughest issue. Mm -hmm. So yes. that said, and it's always difficult as well when you're doing it on a donation basis. Mm -hmm. uh, we are a member-funded board, so we have a small budget to work with. However, uh, we are taking a look at the opportunities and applying for a grant, because I do believe it's time. Well, and... <laughs> This grant, who, you're involved in doing that? 
uh, that's my background <laughs> position, so why I'm even up exactly. here since I'm, I'm no longer president and I have stepped down off the board. I'm just kind of doing some things in the background mm. to help um, sustain the life and the legacy that we've helped mm -hmm. built uh, over the last 10 years. And uh, if I can have that happen, hopefully sometime in 2018, I mean, we will keep applying, we'll never give up. It takes maybe three or four times mm -hmm. to get, mm -hmm. quick, quick st statistic, there's 13,000 chambers, that, I looked this up, 13,000 chambers that are registered in the United States. Hmm. Only 3,000 of those chambers are actually funded. So the chances are relatively slim. However, I think that we make a very strong piece of that pie as to mm -hmm. why we should be funded. I think between having it be Henry J. Kaiser's actual dream, dream. And, I, and when I say Henry J. Kaiser, I want people to, to recognize and realize that is our Kaiser Permanente. Mm -hmm. We're talking mm -hmm. about the same gentleman. Right. So who helped develop Hawaii Kai? Um, he are, already has a legacy, number one. Number two, we have a huge demographic of the island of CEOs, CFOs, business owners that are actually right downtown here today, but, but will turn around and, and drive back like out. That. And sometimes mm -hmm. they often forget their own backyard, and we're a way to not forget. Mm -hmm. But we're there to help remind them. Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And part of that can be with us um, reaching out and visiting more of the neighborhood boards, trying to let those people who have rolled up their sleeves for the community aware of us. How can we work together? How can we help you? You know, I think that's that's could be a very effective way of getting the word out. And, and let me share with you that as you may know, I'm on the Waikai Neighborhood Board, yes. uh, and so I go to the meetings, and I sit there for a long time during these meetings, and there's a lot of community announcements, community events. People come in and announce different things that are happening in the community. Now, if you multiply that out mm -hmm. for every neighborhood board within that East Oahu area, there's going to be a lot of opportunity for somebody to go out and, and announce when you're having a, a beach cleanup or a park cleanup or something mm -hmm. that's community focused that's sponsored by the chamber. Uh, that's going to get a lot of visibility. Yes, it will. Absolutely. Yeah. As a matter of fact, um, I know that Revolu Sun does that every year. Um, Surf Rider Foundation does an excellent job at keeping Sandy Beach and Mount Lua Bay mm -hmm. cleaned up, and mm -hmm. we definitely need more participants. I think you yes. even often suggested uh, bringing in the JCs, bringing in the youth to help that. I mm -hmm. think it's a huge win-win uh, for the youth to go out there and, and be a part of the cleanup. Yes, right? yes, and we want our youth to be involved anyway, not just where I force my three teenagers to be involved, but really allow them to reach out and have community involvement to show them their business people and how to operate as an entrepreneur and as a business person, expanding their horizons. You know, I want to be a doctor. There are a hundred different types of doctors, maybe a thousand specialists, mm -hmm. you know, just giving that, giving that broadness. And they can also come and help in events like that, but they can help check in people for events. They can send things out on Facebook, they can do SEO. Yeah, for them yeah. To help YouTube. Out. We need help <laughs> with YouTube. No, so many of our members like to uh, sign in for webinars. So let's just face it, we have a mm -hmm. ton of meetings to get to every yeah. day. Um, we can't, can't always you know, leave and drive out uh, into the neighborhood that we have the meeting in. So it would be really nice to do a lunch and learn via webinar mm -hmm. and or um, even like this program. Just out of curiosity, if you do a lunch and learn through a webinar, how are you going to provide lunch? You bring your own. Uh -huh. That's a good Be question. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll provide the beer. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just giving you a hard time. Giving me a hard time. I deserve it. I deserve it. I should so it's have your lunch time. That. It's, it's my your, lunch time. It's your lunch Pizza time. Pizza delivery. Lunch That's <laughs> so, well, lunch and learns can be held. Let me back that up. Lunch and learns can actually be held at a facility. But my point is, is that so many of us need mm -hmm. our uh, information in small sure. snippets. We just don't have time to go to yeah. every event. Well, you got to make it convenient for the members to participate and get right. engaged. Mm -hmm. And you know, right. making yes. them come to a physical location all the time is not always the most convenient way to do it. That's, Absolutely. That's true. And that's with true. social media really so emerging right and taking over, it really mm -hmm. is all about yeah. social media and our visibility, mm -hmm. videos. I mean, grabbing the attention of these people within the first 15 seconds is really all you have. That's the critical. 
And so we may have the mastermind behind that, but we may lack a little bit of technical difficulty putting that together. But some of the youth, maybe that are just getting ready to graduate, need a possible internship, need hours. Well, and they can help together. explore. And some of this is is trial and error. You got to see what works and what doesn't work. You know, bringing the right. youth in to help out with this is great because they know the technology, they know how to operate it. But do they know how to? connect with that target market yes you know and so there's you're gonna to have to try different things yeah, and see absolutely. how it works we do and we've done that even ourselves when I came on generally there were a few lunch events and maybe one night event a year you know now we've we've moved it so that people can come for a coffee talk we can have some lunches we can have some evening things because not everything works for me mm -hmm. you know right now professionally I'm available before six <laughs> you know, Before or in the six, in the morning. In the morning. Oh, in the morning. Yeah. I we leave can do home a five o'clock right? meeting. We then. can do a five o'clock <laughs> meeting. Um, so for me, weekends or evenings are better. But three years ago, it was the exact opposite. Or even before that, when you know my children were younger, I wanted to be home and you know make yeah, sure there was course. dinner yeah. done. So then I pushed for morning meetings. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's one of the reasons why you need to have an engaged active board that you can spread mm -hmm. this around and be able to have different people that they have different Definitely. schedules that can get involved and do different things. Definitely. You know, I mean weekends are good for some folks but mm -hmm. not for others, you right. know, and, and weekdays vice versa. Correct. So, you know, you need to have that diversification of talent and skill. Mm -hmm. Yes, you do. Yep, definitely. Okay, so now tell me again if they need some more information, there's an email address, right? Okay, go for it, Cindy. <laughs> it's the East Oahu Chamber of Commerce at gmail.com. You can also visit our website. You can find me, as long as you spell my name correctly, Jindy French at gmail.com. Um, it's on the screen, so that helps too. But definitely um, reach out anyway. Absolutely. Text messages. Fine. And if all else fails, you can get in touch with me, and I'll be happy to forward it Thank on. Thank you. And, and we'll, and we'll make this work. And if that doesn't work, you can get in touch with me. It's just my first name at gmail.com as well. Between yeah. the three of us, I think we can all be in good communication. Yeah, definitely. And we have other interested. board members who are out there, or even people who know about us. Mm -hmm. um, now, we've got about a minute or so left. Okay. Um, and so I want to offer you the opportunity to, to talk a little bit about what do you think, uh, any events coming up that you want to announce or anything that you're planning that people Ooh. need to maybe save the date oh, for? Or the calendar, stay yes. tuned. We do have something in the works. I don't want to speak on it too much because it's not solidified in terms of the date, but we are looking at a brand building concept for our members mm -hmm. and it'll be a possible field trip so it's yes. something that everyone can come to because you're probably already going to be in town it will probably be held in town at one of the facilities here mm -hmm. one of the member facilities so um, I can give you that as a little tidbit and I can tell you that it probably will be televised Wow, all right. <laughs> so be fun. They, people need to go to the website periodically they will and check to see go when Go there and join our mailing list. Yes, we do have a subs subscription mailing list. Um, and we send out all of our newsletters, exactly. everything about our, our events, registering for them, where they're going to be held, what time, et cetera. Everything is on there. Yep. Very good. Yeah, and we will also have a coffee talk the last week of October. Yes. Good. Um, good. So that details for that will be coming up, and definitely as we're working with Honolulu Business Magazine, if anyone's interested in yes. advertising, telling us of a story, letting us know that something's going on, their editors are looking for stories. Now, Huge. just for clarification, is it Honolulu Magazine or is it Hawaii Business Magazine? There's two. Hawaii Business Magazine. Okay, so Hawaii right? Business okay. Magazine. Okay, Hawaii Business just want to make sure because there is yeah, a Honolulu magazine out there. And yes. Okay. All right. So Hawaii Business Magazine. I know Steve real well, so Good. we'll be able to to work with him on that. All right. Well, thank you very much for for thank being you. on the show thank today. You. Yes. you know, it was a pleasure to hear about the East Oahu Chamber, and I'm excited yeah. about the opportunities. Um, I love it that we're going to be doing things at least on my side of the island now. Yes, we will see. Yeah. You. Uh, it's going to be fun. Outside of the yeah. neighborhood board. Yeah, everyone, come meet us. Yes. This is uh, Business in Hawaii with Reg Baker. We broadcast live every Thursday from 2 to 2.30. Uh, and we cover interesting subjects of successful people and organizations in Hawaii making small business work. Hope to see you next week. Until then, aloha.